What's up everyone? Today I'm showing you how to make Mexican mango salsa. If you're new here, welcome to Mexican Cooking Academy where we celebrate Mexican food, culture and cuisine. For years now I've been obsessed with Mexican food and in 2020 I decided to make a move down from California to Mexico to learn all I can about Mexican food and share it with the rest of the world. And that's what we are doing today. Today I'm showing you how to make a classic Mexican mango salsa. So it was actually this weekend that I went to a mercado here in Monterrey and of course I was immediately struck by how many mangoes there were. It is mango season so there are mangoes everywhere all over the uh, mercado. You can't escape the scent of them, you can't escape the sight of them. So I decided to do a mango salsa for all of you. Now I learned this recipe actually from a chef here in Monterrey from a cooking school I'm attending so I'm going to share that recipe with you guys today. And what I love about the salsa is that it can be made with any fruit so it doesn't actually have to be mango. It can be anything including strawberries which is another popular uh, fruit salsa to make so I'll do another video about that especially. But in this one we're going to be doing mangoes and they are really wonderful especially with seafood especially with coconut shrimp or uh, fish uh, but in general it is most often served and eaten uh, along the coastlines where there's the tropics of course and where they have a lot of seafood now let's go over our recipe really quick you're going to need 60 grams of sugar and 60 milliliters of water so about equal parts sugar to water ratio and then we want half of that of vinegar so about 30 milliliters of vinegar we also need some mangoes so about two to three mangoes will do it and some kind of chili in this case we're using chili de arbol and zest and juice of one orange now for your sugar and water you can use any amount you want they just have to be equal parts and you want to use half of that of vinegar. For the mangoes, make sure you're getting ripe mangoes, but not overly ripe, uh, because we don't want them to spoil later on while they're sitting in the fridge. Uh, so choose slightly firm mangoes. You'll also need some kind of chili for this recipe. And in this recipe, we are using one chili de arbol. You can use up to three if you're not gonna use the seeds, or you can do one or two with the seeds if you wanna use those as well. That's gonna make it extra spicy. I thought one chili without the seeds what that we're going to do in this recipe wasn't too spicy at all. So if I were to make this again, I would keep the seeds or do two chili edible. And we also need some kind of citrus here. So in this particular recipe, we're using a zest of an, one orange and the juice of one orange. You can use any citrus that you have. So this could be grapefruit if you have access to that. It could be green limes or yellow lemons. Uh, as well as their rind. Uh, so it's your choice and any one of those that you choose is going to give you a different tasting salsa. Uh, so whatever is your favorite fruit, make sure you're using that one and you're going to get a unique and delicious result. Now as always you'll find this recipe and more down in the description below. So make sure to hit that description, check out the links. Uh, also hit that subscribe button and the like button that's really going to help me out and uh, let's move on with our recipe. Now feel free to substitute any ingredients you want into this salsa. So for example, another common ingredient is the use of ginger when making the salsa. So you would add that ginger in the beginning here when we're cooking the sugar and the water together. So that's definitely one option. You can use different chilies. In this case, as I said, we're using chili de arbol, but if you don't have access to that, you can use any other dry chili. You can even use fresh chili, such as habaneros or serranos. Those are very common. I see a lot of recipes with mango salsa that uses habanero peppers. We're not gonna do that today, but I'll save that for another recipe later on, so stay tuned for that. Now, we start this recipe by combining the sugar and the water together, and we're bringing that up to a high boil. With our water and sugar mixture boiling, we're going to add in our vinegar and we're also going to add in our chili de arbol that's chopped and de-seeded and we're going to let all those ingredients boil until the flavor of the vinegar is lost and uh, chili de arbol starts to infuse its color into the salsa. And we'll know it's getting close to getting done when the color begins to turn into a dark amber color. Now, as you see here, the liquid is starting to turn this 
golden amber color as well as becoming like really thick and syrupy and that's a good sign that we're getting the right uh, consistency here and it's also time to add in our citrus so we're gonna add the zest of an orange and we're gonna add the orange juice you might see the mixture starting to bubble up a lot when you add these two ingredients in don't worry that's completely normal with the orange zest and the orange juice added we can turn down the heat completely and we can start to prepare our mango. Take your two to three mangoes that you're using, chop them up and add them into a food processor or a blender. And we're gonna pulse those for a couple of seconds just to get a completely blended mixture of mango. With the mango blended, we're gonna add it back into the salsa. So take this mixture and pour it right into the pot where you had your sugar and water and chili and stir all the ingredients to combine. You could serve this salsa as is, and that's what we did in our class, but I actually prefer to take it one step further, and that is to strain it to make sure I get out all the bits of chili, and especially if you're using chili with the seeds, if you want it to be extra spicy, then you're gonna wanna strain it. So pour it through the strainer here and get and put, press out all the mixture uh, through the sieve to get a very smooth and delicious mango salsa. And that's basically all there is to it. It's a very simple recipe. It comes together in about 10 minutes at most. It's very easy to do. It's super refreshing. It keeps in the fridge for about three to five days, I would say, especially with all the vinegar and uh, lemon juice or orange juice that you've added in. So that's gonna help really keep it preserved as well as the sugar. Of course, they put the mummies in Egypt in the sugar and honey. So that preserved them for thousands of years. So this salsa should last you at least three to five days, if not longer, in a fridge. Now, as I said, this salsa goes really well with any seafood dish, especially coconut shrimp or some grilled fish if you're doing grilled fish tacos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your spice tolerance level is. I'd love to hear that from you and adjust my recipes uh, to all of you guys. And that's all I got for you today. Until next time, live long and prosper.